low MR effects on Mars. And what you're looking at is not a good thing. Now, they call themselves Redneck Revolt, but as we'll see, they're, they have nothing to do with rednecks. They can put up any, as many uh, old vintage photos of guys with guns as they want. That doesn't make them uh, rednecks. Redneck Revolt was founded in 2016 as an anti-racist, anti-fascist community defense or formation. Can anyone say Antifa? The history of the term redneck is long and complex. One of the earliest recorded uses of the term comes from the 1890s and refers to rednecks as poor inhabitants of the rural districts, men who work in the field as a matter of course. Generally, other skins burned red by the sun, and especially is this true of the back of their necks. Okay, so that's the definition of the term redneck. But these are not rednecks. They may have rednecks on the ranks, like, uh, well, I seriously doubt even that. These are not rednecks. In 1921, the term became synonymous with armed insurrection against the state. As members of the United Mine Workers of America, tied red bandanas around their necks during the Battle of Blair Mountain, two-week long-armed multi-racial <coughs> multi uprising in the coal fields of West Virginia. <coughs> Excuse me. Today, the term redneck has taken on a demeaning connotation primarily among upper-class urban liberals who have gone out of their way in dehumanizing working class and poor people. Terms like white trash and hillbilly have come to sig signify view among these same class liberals of poor rural folks. And that much is true, but <laughs> the same white elitist liberals who uh, they're talking about are running this organization. Trust me on this. So we'll take a look at some things. Let's take a look. This is the Finger Lakes uh, chapter of their Facebook page. Putting the red back in redneck. These are not conservatives. This is another insult as far as I'm concerned. And I'm going to show, show you proof that these are not conservatives and they are not rednecks. Proof number one, if it ever comes up, I don't care much for memes, but this picture speaks for itself. There was an old joke about some doo 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 and went into an old western town and said he was looking around for, uh, some nice guys and uh, wonder where everybody was and they were out hanging some doo 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 at the edge of town. Well, I'm gonna be moseying along. That's all I'm going to say on that. Anyway, so there you have proof number one. Number two, Redneck Revolt is a national network of community defense projects from broad spread of political, religious, and cultural backgrounds. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. It's a pro-worker, anti-racist organization that focuses on working class liberation from the oppressive systems which dominate our lives. States where it's legal to practice armed community defense, 
Nine branches choose to become John Brown gun clubs, training themselves in communities in defense of mutual aid. These, these are Antifa punks. Make no mistake. I'm going to take a look at a couple things. I don't want to go too long. We stand against white supremacy. These are their principles. We believe in true liberty for all peoples. That is a lie. As we're going to see. Your nose is growing longer. Pinocchio. We stand for organized defense of our communities. Uh, these are Antifa, like I said. They are working class and poor people. Now, most of them are <coughs> almost certainly white elitist liberals. They're just playing the game with you. We're an above ground militant formation. We stand against the nation state and its forces which protect the bosses and the rich. There's uh, another clue for you. You stand against capitalism. Well, right there you have it. Uh, this says it all. They stand against capitalism when they are standing up for communism. They're standing against the wars of the rich. If they stand up for communism, then that invalidates... Uh... This one that says we believe in true liberty for all people, because communism, is, by its very nature, is a system of tyranny. So that gives them away right there. They're not for uh, a free economic system at all, they're for tyranny. Well, I'll put this on hold, and see what else I can find. And I'm just going to show you the contact page. Uh, here you go, and see places where they are. Now take a look at the demographic layout. You know, the truest rednecks and cowboys and whatnot, they would be out in the uh, Midwest states. Where are most of these concentrated? East Coast. That's right. These are East Coast liberals for the most part. And they are Antifa, like I said. They're just, you know, trying to pretend that they're rednecks to appeal to backwoods types like myself. And it's not going to work. Not with me. And done sprung your trap. Shame on you. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.